hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is asemase and if you're new welcome welcome and thank you so much for clicking on that subscribe button and for my day ones a warm welcome to you guys and i want to say thank you so much for the recovery comments that you gave me i'm recovering well i'm gonna go to work tomorrow haven't been to work for the past two weeks because i recently burned myself i actually burned myself the day after my graduation yeah weird but anyway enough of me rambling if you haven't do click on the subscribe button i post content pertaining to online teaching i show you guys how i embark on this journey of online teaching and i teach you how to apply to these platforms and make money so without further ado let's jump right into this video So today's video was requested by i think two of my subscribers they were asking how i handle load shedding and i wanted to provide a video for them so you probably saw that in one of my vlogs that i showed you guys how hard it is to be a south african in this business so i showed you like i think the light went off while i was like in a lesson with this student but anyway these are my tips there are five tips but i have a bonus tip so it's practically like six tips for you guys that i actually use okay so enough of me rambling let's get down to these tips tip number one so you have started with this journey of online teaching and you got a student and you guys are having a try lesson it is your decision whether to tell that student in that try lesson that oh okay i live in south africa and in south africa we're currently experiencing load shedding and then you explain what load shedding is for someone that is watching and does not know what load shedding is so here in south africa we are in an era where our electricity gets cut off for i think a maximum of like three hours i'm not i'm not sure in other places but with us it can be two hours or two hours 30 minutes so they cut off the electricity for some time they might cut the electricity off for multiple times in that day so that becomes very hard for us to teach because we use for example ring lights we use we plug in stuff we use our laptops that need to be charged on a regular so it becomes very hard for us as south africans okay moving on to tip number two do not cancel classes guys do not cancel classes rather reschedule classes than cancel classes i've been teaching for it's going to be five months tomorrow yeah i'm going to be teaching for five months tomorrow and i have never ever cancelled any lessons and i urge my students to not cancel a lesson because it reflects badly on your on your profile so rather reschedule lessons so let's say it's load shedding and you did not check your schedule and then boom lights out and you have to you have to tell this person look i can't teach you you don't have to cancel the lesson you can just reschedule for another time maybe later in the day but sometimes you could have a student that is from let's say turkey i'm like jumping because turkey is one hour ahead of us but i'm just making an example you could have a student from turkey and you would be like oh i'm sorry i can't teach you now because we have load shedding um two can we schedule for like two hours later and two hours later that student is supposed to be in bed so let's say that student at that time that student was gonna have the lesson at nine and now they're rescheduling that lesson for 11 p.m obviously that student will have to sleep because he or she has to go to work or has to go to school so it does not seem correct right Tip number three, you have to check your load shedding schedule. You have to check it, like check it. I heard that other people like put the load shedding schedule and their online schedules. I don't do that, me personally. Like I told you guys, I'm still learning to be like that to do 
girl type of thing i'm still trying to plan things i'm not perfect yeah but anyway do check out your low trading schedule because uh, you need to you really need to tip number four so with this i'm gonna try and explain it first before i tell you what the tip is okay for those of you that work for preply i'm gonna kind of primarily speak on preply because i know how it works for those of you that work for preply you know that you can actually have lessons outside of the preply space like i told you for i think someone asked me why i don't teach on the preply space to that person i do not teach it's not that i don't want to teach on the preply space i would love to teach on the preply space because it has a lot of tools that i can teach my students and especially now that i have an eight year old i feel like those tools might help me a lot or will because i feel like i have tried those materials and they actually like got us working you know but i can't however because i don't know i think it's my laptop or i think the the site is saturated with a lot of tutors could be one or either i don't know but now going back to the tip the tip is have the video meeting apps like um google meet zoom or skype for me personally i love to use google meet i don't know why i did not use google Meet for a long time but i i tried google meet on my laptop and it worked perfectly like i said i use google meet and i use skype right so make sure you have all of these apps or some of these apps on your phone so that when it's load shedding you can just quickly switch on to your phone okay okay tip number five so in cases where it's at night find something that is going to illuminate the room so that the student can see you something to illuminate or something to like light, light up the room so that you can teach properly i would suggest that you get this led light i think it costs something around 200 but i'll google it and then i'll just put it on the screen so that you can see as i'm saying so this light we have this light at home it looks something like this yeah and then this is how you put it on you can adjust how you f you want the the light to lit up right yeah so that is what i would suggest that you get or if you don't have this light use whatever you have if you have to light up a candle light up a candle as long as that person knows that you are struggling with load shedding in your country and you've already mentioned this to this person right you can't be showing up with candle lit rooms with people that you didn't even tell like people are like what's going on with you you know <laughs> your tip number six so remember i told you guys that if you have this light if you buy this light blah 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 so i did not tell you but at the back of this light it has a usb charger and you can put your ring light on it and just light up this is what i'm using right so i'm gonna show you guys so it is off now i'm gonna put it in the light the light does not have to be on for this to work and then this is the on button for the ring light and then there you have it that was the bonus tip thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay take care guys goodbye